Hello guys, my name is Diana Munoz, I am a Canva Certified Creative and welcome to this new tutorial. In today's video, I would like to teach you three different ideas to create animated Instagram stories. You can follow today's tutorial if you have a Canva free account or a Canva Pro. It doesn't matter, we can all follow and create these animated and creative stories. If this is the first time that you land on our channel and you would like to learn more about Canva, subscribe because we upload a new video every week. And let's uh, start now with the tutorial. Okay, so here I am in my Canva homepage. And what I'm going to do to start right now uh, is to create a Instagram story. As you can see here, I have on this carousel, it is the first option. But if you don't see it, because Canva will uh, give you different suggestions in this carousel, just type here Instagram. And you'll see here Instagram story. Select this one, the one that says 1080 by 1920. Okay. And we are going to select the first page, the one that says blank. Okay, so we have the perfect measurements uh, now to create our Instagram story. And uh, we need to include or insert our image in this page. So uh, I already have my picture here in the uploads folder and I just need to drag it into this blank page. And if you can see, uh, Instagram is doing the job automatically for me. It is uh, putting the image right into the background. So that's perfect. That's what I need. And uh, now what I'm going to do is to include these little collage or tiered papers into the design. I'm going to do this first before using the duotone effect because I want to see how the colors of these elements will interact with the background. So let's go to photos and the keyword that you would like to use for this one is collage pro and then hit enter. So I guess I used uh, something like the perfect selfie or this selfie. So let's try to find these keywords here and uh, let me here. Here's selfie. Let's reduce the size and position it around here. And this one that says perfect and uh, I think I cannot see this, but let me try to find it like this. Let's type this and collage. Here is. Okay, so we can use this and I think they also have the, let me see. The, yes. So you can use either the or this perfect selfie. Uh, maybe let's use the, I think it's fun. Let's use this one. Okay, oops. And now, uh, now that I have my uh, words or it looks kind of like a, if you had cut these words from a magazine, that's what I really like about these elements. Okay, now let's go and click on the background in order for us to enable this effects button. If you don't click on the image, you won't see it. So let's click on the image. Let's go to effects and uh, I have seen that Canva is having a little issue with this effects button. You can see here that is loading, loading and they never appear. So don't worry if that happens to you, just refresh the page and normally you will see that it will work. Let's see. Okay, here it is. Uh, here you will see uh, the duo tone effect. If you don't see it uh, the way I'm showing you here on the screen, just go down below and you may see it like this. So you just click on the effect duo tone and then connect. It will take like really a couple of seconds and then you'll be able to see the duo tone like this. Uh, for this example, let's open here where it says see all. So we can see all the different duotones that we can use 
for free <laughs> and um, I'm going to play around I'm going to click on some of them to actually see how it will look uh, on my design and how this background can or will interact with the other elements so I think in the final design I used a pink one I think the pastel color I think it looks nice with this yellow and this black so once you select the duotone that you prefer just go on apply and wait a couple of seconds until this duotone goes into the photo you see that the this um, menu and the photo kind of like a blinked after that you can continue uh, working on your image you see here something happened so now the effect is on the photo and we are almost done with the first uh, story now I'm missing just a tiny little detail that is going to make this design even better uh, I'm going to photos and I will type shadow and hit enter and here it is here you see it's kind of difficult to see but the shadow is here I'm just going to click and here it is the shadow so let's uh, just tilt the shadow a tiny bit and position it at the back back and back and now it looks like if these two pieces of paper were kind of like floating and I will maybe reduce the transparency a tiny bit let's make this shadow a little bit smaller and I'm going to duplicate it and adjust a tiny bit and then position back again okay so here we have our design what do you think about this design I really like it I think it looks very modern and it has something special creative as well <laughs> uh, okay so now what I'm going to do to make this design more entertaining and fun I'm going to apply a animation so let's click on this button and we can play with these um, effects here and when you click on this effect you will see something happening on the page so this is kind of like a preview of the effect and as you can see here we have uh, two five five different options that are premium options so these are only for canva pro but if you have a canva free account you can use all of these options without the crown i'm going to use the fade option or fade animation effect and as you can see uh, when i click here this one appears first then this one and then the shadow i'm not quite happy about it as you can see here first i can see perfect and the and the shadow so i want all of these three elements to appear at the same time and to do this i just select the three of them and group and the same thing for these two elements i don't want the shadow to appear first or after i want them to appear at the same time so let's group them and then let's preview let's click here and the effect is kind of fast but it is there you see now they appear at the same time first the top elements and then the selfie at the bottom and that's it for the first design now let's go to the second one let's add a new page and delete the image at the background okay I already have my picture here Ronnie took this picture of me the other day when we were uh, walking in uh, the beach so let's stretch this photo and position it in the center now let's add the effect uh, duotone and um, in this case I already know which color works uh, better with the elements that I'm going to select so I will do this first and I'm almost sure that I use this amber effect let's apply and let's go to the photos section and let's uh, type again collage pro let's 
enter and um, I think I used the keyword morning and chill so this one we can position it at the bottom right here and then morning on the top let's adjust the size and we can do um, instead of typing and finding the element we can just ungroup these uh, two elements and then copy the shadow and paste okay so here we have this shadow and we just need to position it behind morning and like that we have this effect of uh, flying uh, tear paper and on the word that says chill at the bottom I'm not going to use a shadow because uh, it's kind of like a drop shadow and the shadow uh, on this element should be behind this element so we won't really see it so here we have our second um, design or idea for our Instagram stories let's group these two elements and we are going to use a different option here for the animation and I think I'm going to use this one the pan option as you can see I really like that the elements come flying really slowly uh, to the side and let's go and create the final story after we create the final story we are going to download them with these animations and music why not uh, let's delete this photo in the background I'm going to upload and I'm going to add this beautiful photo here after this I'm going again to the photo section and we have here some other elements that are not only words but pieces of pictures so here we have the first uh, piece that I want to use for this photo and I'm going to position it here in the upper left corner let's make it smaller and I see that this uh, photo it's kind of like a sky picture so I wanted to kind of like mixed or blend with the sky so I'm going to add some transparency just a tiny bit like this and finally let's add some other two uh, collage bits uh, I think this one will go really well with this picture because it has some green elements and some other blue uh, elements as we can see here something that looks like a lagoon or sea and also we see the sky here this one um, I'm not going to use a shadow because I'm going to position it uh, here and the background it's already kind of dark so I think the shadow um, won't be so visible here so I think this is it for this final design and let's add the animation tumble I like this animation because we have already four different elements and in this animation we can see them all flying in the screen so I really like that okay so for the last part of this tutorial let's add music and download these videos so we can use them on our Instagram okay so for music I will go here to this tab called music and if you have a Canva free account and you want to download these uh, videos for free go here to the setting and select free and apply filter later you just need to make sure uh, to select one that says free you see here the little tag that says free and the other ones that says pro obviously you will need to pay for this um, for the use of the song so just uh, go for any of these in my case because I have a Canva Pro account I can use these songs that I really like and to use them just click on the song then click here you can actually select the piece or the section of the song that you really want to use in this case uh, I will use this section here and then I will download file type select video so it downloads as mp4 
And then because we have three different stories in this same document, let's select only the, the story that you want to download. So in this case, I will select the first page and click here on done and download. And for the other two stories, I will download them with a different song because I want them to have a different feeling. So let's wait until this one is downloaded and I will show you how to change the song. Okay, so we have here the first story. Yeah, it's looking nice. Okay, so let's go for the second story and to change the song, we just do this. We click here on the title of the song and then click on the trash icon. So now we have deleted the song from this document and I'm going to use, let's say, this other song. So I will do the same thing. I can select the beat of the song that I want to use for this story and then download. Select the page and download. And let's do the same process for the last story. Let's go here, select the beat or the section of the song that you want to use and download page three. Okay, so here we have our three different stories. Let's play here. So as you can see here at the beginning of this uh, video, we'll see the effect that we selected. Let's go to the second animation. This one is coming upwards. And lastly, the one that is flying around the page. And before finishing this tutorial, I would love to know what do you guys think about these designs? Did you like them? What do you think? I really spent a lot of time thinking about the ideas and elements that I wanted to use for this design. So let me know if you like them or not. I also appreciate it if you leave me a thumbs up in this video so I know that you liked it and I can uh, create more tutorials or videos like this one. Uh, I think this is the end of the video and I hope to see you in another one. Bye!